love taking you know where there was nothing before and creating something great that people can appreciate. Here we are on site at our MAPES Ave project in Springfield. Today's demo day. Dumpster just got dropped off. Guys are already inside demoing out the basement. I'm gonna walk the first floor with you guys, spray everything off. Check it out. We mark out all the walls. You guys are already demoing downstairs. Just wanna let them know what to take down when they come upstairs. This bathroom obviously all has to go. Uh, we're most excited about this project because it's our first project in Springfield, a uh, town we've been trying to get into for a while. So we're really looking forward to gutting this one, throwing the second floor on, uh, listing and hopefully selling pre-construction to a buyer that'll come in and pick their finishes. Second favorite day on the job, demo day. First favorite day is the day we close and sell. This one was a broker exclusive. We got it for 272. We uh, financed the purchase with private investor money uh, via the Learn and Earn program. Uh, the plan is to spend about 165 here and ultimately list at 675. We're going to work this project like we typically do with our same crews, everything from the guys you hear doing the demo right now, straight through to the framers, uh, painters, tile, finish guys, uh, just crews that we cycle from job to job that we've been working with for a long time that we're really comfortable with. That's it. These guys are ready to go. A lot of times these houses are in, beat, are in bad shape, so they're not really they're not really uh, a fit for the retail buyer, they're a fit for the investor. The guy that gets there first and, and moves fastest is often the guy that gets it under contract. We're on site at our Cambridge Drive project in Union. Uh, this one's finished. Uh, we actually picked this one up. Uh, it was a broker exclusive. Uh, we saw it and moved on it same day. Came in all cash. We actually had a hard money lender come in and finance 80% of the purchase price and 100% of the construction cost. I'll give you guys uh, a tour. We gutted this entire kitchen to the studs. We actually took out a wall that was dividing the uh, kitchen and the dining room, the formal dining room, and, uh, and blew that wall out and extended the kitchen all the way through. So we actually have a massive 21 cabinet kitchen. Uh, refinished all the hardwoods throughout. They were all uh, preserved under carpet. We saved this uh, millwork here. I thought it added to the uh, the original character and charm of the house. We didn't want to touch that. The master suite in this house was already pretty big. What we did was we kind of opened it up. So you've got the walk-in closet here. The ensuite bath runs all the way in with a, with a nice five foot shower and a, and a seat. Again, try to keep everything period correct and salvage the old toilet and, and vanities. So we redid this bathroom, but we actually kept the original tub and toilet because again, they had that kind of like, that character and charm we were trying to keep. And then we came back through and kind of tried to mirror it with the subway tile, the octagon floor tile, and the white vanity. Uh, it was broker exclusive, we paid $272 for it. Uh, we spent between renovation and carrying costs uh, roughly $80,000 on it. We got $5,000 above ask, and we should net eighty dollars when all is said and done. One of the things we do differently than most people is we put a lot of time and effort into design and where a house already has a lot of character and charm and millwork and trim, things like that, you kind of leverage that stuff, play off that and do something creative like build in a butler's pantry, which in terms of cabinetry, pulls and granite doesn't cost you all that much, but adds an immense amount of value. We took the house and we upgraded everything, but we still stayed true to that period correct character and charm of the house. So we just saw one of our finished products and uh, we're actually heading to our Cedar Street project in Cranford, which is a completely different project at a totally different scale. The 1920s cape we picked up from a, from a wholesaler and uh, we demoed it, took it completely down and are now in the framing stage of putting up what will eventually be a five bed, three bath, 3,200 square foot new construction home. We're on site at the Cedar Street project in Cranford. This is our ground up spec build. We actually picked up a 1920s cape, looked just like that one there. We took it down to the ground, demoed it out, dug out the foundation. We are putting up a brand new, in its place, a five bedroom, three bathroom, 3,200 square foot uh, custom colonial. We actually picked this one up from a wholesaler, a Homevestors franchisee who was direct with the owner. For 250, we self-financed the purchase. We're on a 75 by 125 foot lot, so the small 1920s cape uh, wasn't the highest and best use of the lot. We're using a local community bank to finance the construction. Uh, we're anticipating spending 
roughly 300,000 here between site work and construction. So hoping to be all in on this one, like somewhere in like the 575 range and uh, it's currently listed for pre-sale at 849. We went out and had renderings made and listed this one pre-construction using 3D renderings and floor plans. Ideally, you get a buyer in pre-construction, someone's gonna choose what they want in this house. They'll put down a large upfront deposit. It's really a win-win situation for us because we have the project pre-sold and for them because they get what they ultimately want. They get exactly what they want in the form of finishes. We just left our new construction project in Cranford and we're actually heading over to our Ada level in on 22nd Street in Kenilworth. We are on site at our 22nd Street project. We've already had renderings done, 3D renderings of the exterior, floor plans, and it's currently listed at 479. We're into it at uh, 195 and anticipate spending about 135 to uh, blow off the roof and add a second floor uh, to accommodate three beds and two baths upstairs. Uh, it'll actually be a 4-3 when all is said and done, about uh, 1,800 square feet. We purchased it with uh, private money via our Learn and Earn program and we intend to fund construction the same way. If someone asks me what's Learn and Earn, you have an opportunity to look over my shoulder on a specific project, access to all the documents, and see how we do what we do. We know the timelines in and out, and we're confident we'll have it ready in time for the spring market. We're back on site at our MAPES Ave project in Springfield. Today was demo day. The guys have been at it all day. We're gonna go inside and see how they made out. The next step will be to have the framers come in and take the roof off and start framing our second floor. If you want to get involved in one of our future projects and find out more about our Learn and Earn program, where you can put your money to work and learn the ins and outs of real estate investing, reach out to us. We'd love to get you involved.